Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from thelinelover.com. In today's video, we will be going over my interpretation of the possible Kiwi type, seasonal color, and essence of the lovely Vanessa Paradis. So if you are interested in that, please continue to watch this video. And if you'd like to support, please like and subscribe. So as always, let's start with a breakdown of silhouette in terms of yin and yang. So Vanessa is five foot three inches tall, making her quite petite. So she is yin in size and scaling. She also looks very compact and trim. Um, this is due in part to the ratio between her head and her shoulders, her head and the rest of her body. People who are shorter but have a smaller head compared to the rest of their body tend to look a little bit more elongated, but I think you can tell that Vanessa is clearly on the more petite side. In terms of bone structure or frame, Vanessa has a slightly angular frame. You'll see a, a little bit of squareness or sharp edges throughout her shoulder, a little bit of angularity throughout the uh, rib cage, a little bit of straightness throughout the hips, just slight angularity, slight uh, streamlinedness or straightness to certain aspects of her bone structure as well so i would say that her bone structure is slightly young now in terms of her undercurrent i do think she has a yin undercurrent even though she is quite lean you can see that lovely gentle suppleness especially um, throughout her upper limbs, her chest, a little bit through her hips um, and backside, and she just has that lushness to her face as well. So yin and size, slightly yang in frame, um, and yin and undercurrents, I think Vanessa is um, the most resonant with this soft gamine idea. Now looking closer at her face to study or contemplate her essence, in terms of the McJimsey or Kitchener system, I think she has high resonance with the romantic essence because you see so many of these lovely, elegant, elongated curves throughout her face, from her brows through her nose, her nose itself, her eyes, her cheekbones, her lips. Um, this isn't a very perky and compact look like you see with ingenue essences. Um, this is more of that sophisticated, more womanly kind of curve. So again, romantic essence is strong with her and this essence really blooms with ornate, sophisticated, elegant, more mature details. It's very different from ingenue, which is more youthful yin. And I just wanted to go back and kind of emphasize my reasoning for why I do think she has that yin undercurrent and I want to frame it in terms of what she looks better accommodating. So two examples here on the left here, we have a lot of cropped but straight lines. And here we have more of that curved angularity, um, the nipping at the waist, the fluidity, and the drape of this gorgeous blouse. I love this blouse so much. Um, and I think you can really see all of her silhouette just a lot more clearly. And it looks like her silhouette is just a lot more celebrated with this accommodation of those yin shapes and details. Uh, the other example, these two lovely dresses here. Uh, this dress is just a lot more sleek, um, a lot more angular. Even the shoes just have that very strong linearity to them. But here, when she adds a little bit of that mesh fluidity, a little bit of that curve through the neckline, um, a little bit of the curve 
through the shoe shape as well, her silhouette just comes into focus a little bit more cohesively. It just looks a lot more proportionate as well. So again, these little yin accommodations bring out the beauty of her silhouette a lot more, in my opinion. So going off of that um, yin idea, the extra dose of yin requires a little bit more of that broken line or that segmentation. And Vanessa does a wonderful job of honoring her proportions. She tends to wear items that have very small shapes and a lot of different um, segments to them because that just really looks lovely on a petite frame um, that needs that broken line, that needs that extra sense of dimension, like with many soft means. So um, in this dress, we just have so many cute little shapes going on from the cutout on the strap, the shape of the actual um, chest area itself, these lovely little segments throughout the torso and the soft pleats as well as that really well-sized print. Here, gorgeous segmentation, gorgeous cropped cardigan, amazing fitting skirt with this very clear waistband and just this softness at the opening of the, of the skirt of the hem and these lovely little layered bow details. And here, lovely round neckline, gorgeous plated fluidity, um, really fun ornate belt and all of these gorgeous cascading but clear shapes throughout the bottom half of the outfit. So again, I really want to emphasize this romanticism um, that's just so evident in Vanessa's beauty. I think her style um, is very much like a fairy tale. She has that gorgeous ability to pull off all of these layers of small intricate detail and it doesn't overwhelm her she just looks like she's been um, pulled straight out of like a fairy tale movie most of the time and another person who pulls off the style beautifully is stevie nicks who i also think is a soft gaming so here, because I want to emphasize soft gamin, um broken lines versus just broken lines, I would suggest most soft, soft gamins to really emphasize pulling the visual momentum inwards through these smaller angles, through creating waist definition, um, as opposed to focusing too much on breaking up your line with more stark horizontals so on the left she has many different segments to her look but because the emphasis is more horizontal a little bit more broad a little bit more boxy you see the outfit um, a little bit more than you see her silhouette but here because of the momentum inwards through the um, smaller, more narrow neckline, the kind of layered effect of this one small seam in the front. I think it might be a wrap. Um, the belt and just the little details like the cuffs here and here and the um, design just really pulling your eye towards her center. It just brings out her silhouette much more. So um, you can't just break up your line and expect that to really bring out your silhouette. You have to think about what those lines are really doing. Are they more horizontal? Are they more expansive and diffuse? Are they kind of pulling the eye closer towards the center, which is um, even more important if you're a little bit more narrow like her. So going off that, all of these outfits have that lovely sense of broken detail. Um, but I just wanted to make a little distinction between like cuter, more ingenue romanticism because there is that 
um, kind of mix up or blending between, you know, systems, between the Kibbe system and the McJimsey system and yin and yang, there's a lot of overlap. So I just wanted to differentiate between this more kind of animated, perky, youthful, ingenue-esque yin and then the more womanly, mature, elegant, I would say slightly more seductive, um, romantic essence. So here um, you get a little bit more clarity, more blendness in the cut of the dress, the very explicit um, in terms of shape scallop detail here and the very clear print as opposed to these two outfits towards the right that are just a little bit more fluid and diffuse and I guess a little bit more hypnotic and mesmerizing in that way. They're just a little bit more mysterious. So I am hoping you see why I love her style so much. She is just such a wonderful person to study even if you don't plan or intend to wear the style that she does because it's just so fun to see different outfits of her throughout her long career um, and you can so easily identify this um, sense of knowing um, she knows herself she knows what she likes she knows what looks good on her she stays true to herself and that is the hallmark of a well-developed sense of style style has to express who you are and you can't express who you are if you don't have an idea about you know who you are what you really like what really suits you um so it's a very introspective philosophical journey even though it seems shallow that you're just you know considering what you're putting on your body it is a reflection of your inner world and your relationship to your inner world so going off that once you know your style once you know what works for you you can play around with stuff so here's just some contrasting examples um, very different styles but they all work so well on her and because she puts so much emphasis on correctly or appropriately sized details she can play with you know slightly more oversized details when she pleases so um, you kind of have to know the rules before you want to break them and in terms of seasonal color um, before i reveal what type i think she is or what season i think she falls under here's just a fun easy exercise just looking at these very similar outfits, which one really harmonizes with her natural coloring? And when you ask yourself this question, um, usually what's going to be revealed is the thing that you're actually comparing, the traits or qualities that are actually um, catching your eye. And in this case with Vanessa, her most dominant feature is this like hazy, diffuse softness to her coloring, to her skin and her hair and her eyes. She's very soft. There's this lovely, gentle mutedness to her coloring. Um, her facial features don't really stick out too strongly. Her eyebrows are very soft on her face. There isn't too much contrast between um, her eyes and her skin and her hair so gentleness softness is her most dominant trait and if you look closer you'll see undertones of amber and honey and walnuts throughout her skin and hair and that's just slightly warm so soft and warm are her um, most dominant color traits. And just to compare, you know, this blue here, and at least with the, the inner layer, is just a little too bright, maybe a little too icy. It's just kind of clashing in here. Um, again, just a little 
bright, especially with a very different colored lipstick. So the type that I think she is, is Soft Autumn, Soft Autumn. Palettes reflect softness and warmth. So um, yeah, I think she just really shines in this gorgeous kind of like hazy, slightly warm, kind of dreamy palette that is the Soft Autumn palette. It's very romantic and softly elegant and creamy. It's softly seductive. It's more mysterious. It doesn't really strike you super strongly, um, but it kind of like lingers. That's kind of the energy of the color palette. So that was it for today's video. I just wanted to do this a little study on Vanessa. I think she's such an amazing style icon and I always love to look at her outfits and just contemplate and really that's what's going to help you develop your style journey. Um, just contemplate what makes different people look their most authentic selves or their most, I guess, celebrated selves and ask yourself many questions and just enjoy it um it's really hard to develop your style if you don't enjoy the process of you know asking all these questions and just um enjoying the beauty of other people's style so i hope um, you can find some time to invest in that process and your own process as well so i'll see you in the next video bye